for the Vintage Festival of Wine. And the second most important cultivar is olive growing. And the third important cultivar is cherry. I'm going to explain something about canned cherry made with lactitol, an alternative to reduce its calorie value. What are we looking for in a food? We're seeking food the same thing that Hippocrates said a long time ago, that your food is your medicine. Actually, a lot of people consume an excessive consumption of refined, refined sugar. It produces a momentary energy, remove the energy to the brain, a rapid burning of sugar in the blood. It produces a state hyperacidity, demineralization and blood acidity state. So, non-communicable disease or chronic disease kill more than 36 million people each year. They represent the 63 of all annual deaths and 80 occurs in a low and middle income country. They are cancer, chronic respiratory disease, cardiovascular disease, and diabetes. For example, there are 40,022 million people with diabetes and cardiovascular disease. Another illness that's going increasing is the obesity, with 122 million persons that suffer its consequence. These illness have an important epigenetic factor and they are related with the way as we live and the way as we eat food. Food rich in high calorie power, rich in sodium and rich in sugar, and the sedentary and alcohol and tobacco. So we need better habits in our life to conserve our health. So we can begin, begin to modify the food and their process to allow the better food and better habits to live. We can use the sweeteners. There are a lot of sweeteners. We can use polyalcohol as a sweetener. Lactitol is a white powder that is, that is presented as a monohydrate or dehydrate. It tastes sweet and it has an important properties. Lactitol is a prebiotic. According to the definition, lactitol resists the digestion, be fermented by the gastrointestinal microbiota, selectively stimulate the growth or the activity of intestinal bacteria associated with the health, lactobacillus and bifidobacterium. It produces by catalytic hydrogenation of lactose. Another characteristic of polyalcohols is that they form a dense syrup and we can use in order to conserve food by osmotic dehydration. It has a lot of advantages and few disadvantages. Confer texture. They are solubles in water, hygroscopicity and humectants, fresh filling in the mouth, little or no cardiogenic, or no cardiogenic nothing cardiogenic. Control the crystallization of sugar. Avoid evapor evaporation of water. Due the effects on osmotic pressure, they act as a preservative and contribute with two kilocalories per gram in front of the four kilocalories per gram 
uh, that support of um, sugar. Disadvantages, relatively low sweetness intensity. At a large ing ingested doses, they can produce a laxative effect. Lactitol is poorly digested and absorbed in the small intestine and it are partially fermented in the bowel. It provides low energy content compared to fully digested carbohydrates such as sucrose. They produce short fatty acid. What's happened in the osmotic dehydration? In the osmotic de dehydration fruits and vegetables, there are two flux. The most important is the, the flux of water that go out to the fruit. And the other two flux is the hypertonic solution go into the fruit and others. Lactitol permits to extend the life of fruits by osmotic dehydration. The osmotic dehydration is a useful form to conserve the food. It conserves the sensory property of fruit and vegetable. It doesn't use high temperature, not change the state of water. Produce a dehydration by removing the water through the perme semi-permeable membrane. Factor that affect the osmotic dehydration process. Then the nature of substance, the nature of matrix of food, the stereospecificity of molecules and the temperature. The hypothesis, it is possible to prepare cherry by osmotic dehydration with syrup constituted of sugar substitute of the sucrose, reducing the content of sugar and the caloric value. The general objectives of this work is to replace the sugar with lactitol in different proportion in order to obtain a product with fewer calories. A multiple impregnation process was used by the slower method. This consists in placing the fruit in a solution of relatively low initial concentration, which was increasing gradually until reaching the desired final concentration, leaving them a 24 hour period between each concentration. The experimenter was maintaining in constant stirring in an in constant temperature. The candidate was done in five stages from 25 de degree bricks to 65 degree bricks. The coloration was made between in the third and the fourth state with erythrocin and amaranth. The experimental design and sampling. The sales were performed in triplicate with the following treatment T0 or control, 100% of sucrose, T1, sucrose 75%, and lactitol 25%, and T2, sucrose 50%, and lactitol 50%. At each state, the samples were taken for six hours. Degree bricks in the solution and, the, and, in the, and in the flesh and the gravimetric humidity of moisture. Results. This figure shows the evolution of solute solids in the solution. You can see clearly the different rigid concentration every day. This, this, this measure, it was taken by a digital, digital refractometric de device. This figure shows the entrance of solute solids into the flesh of cherries 
and the same time the exit of water from the flesh cherry from for the three treatment. On the other hand, the initial of, con of the initial content of moisture was uh, in cherry was 98% for the three formulation. The moisture was decreasing in the time by the exit of the water that happened in the phenomena of osmotic dehydration when these are placed in a hypertonic solution. As can, be, as, can be, as can be seen in the figure, the decreasing of water for the old treatment was similar, but it was, it was bigger in the control than the T1 and the T1 in relation to T2. The control had a final value of 23% 20, of moisture. T1 35% of moisture and T2 43% of moisture. It could be it could indicate that the socross has a greater osmodehydration power when it is found alone in the solution than when it is combined with lactitol in different proportion. The difference of, of, of osmotic dehydration between the different treatments was an average of 10% at the end of the treatment. The experimental value could suggest a different form of diffusion of so cross molecule related to lactitol. Sensorial analysis. Two tests were made acceptability test and the preference test. It were made by 64 randomly selected judges, including, including non-consumers, eventual consumer, and consumer of fruit from 15 to 69 years old, average age of 27 years old. 35 were men and 27 women. The results show that T2 was the most chosen treatment following for T1 and finally the control of T0. The main comments of judges were for T1 and T2 balanced sweeteners. It is important to know that the sweetening power of lactitol has 40% of sweetening of power of socross, which can help to interpret, to, to interpret the results. Due to the low sweetness of lactitol, it is an ideal sweetener to combine with the low calories sweeteners commonly used in a low calorie and sugar free foods. We calculate the nutritional value for the control of T0 contribute with 20, uh, 20, uh, 220 kilocalories per gram. Formulation T1 contribute with 193 kilocalories per gram and the formulation T2 one, 175 kilocalories per gram. For T1, the reduction in calorie was the 12% of calorie reduction. We respect the T0 or the control. And the T2, it was 50 and, um, 25%. According to the Argentine food code, T1 and T2 can be called reduced in sugar. Only T2 formulation can be called reducing in caloric value and reduced in sugar because the reduction achieves the 25% reduction in sugar from the product made with Socross traditionally. These characteristics allowed to name 
it as a light product. This reduction allows overweight and obese people to include this product in their diet. The laxative effect. For the IDI, a lovely daily intake was estimated on an average 60 kilograms per person. Then 15 or 20 grams of lactitol could be consumed per day without having laxative effects, always subject to the state of the person and their own sensitivity that depend on, the, on it. For the calculation of the maximum unit to consume per person per day, a standard weight of cherry, it was six gra grams per cherry. Given that the product is generally consumed as a dessert, it, it is estimated that 10 cherries a day for the treatment T1 and five cherries for the treatment a day for T2. The approximately IDI for lactitol should be reported in the label and possibly on the label the non-mandatory the non-mandatory recommendation according to the reglementation. Excessive consumption can produce a laxative effect. Conclusion. Depending on the degree of substitution of sucrose, different types 